How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Need for Speed Heat once again. Now this is either my first or second ever Need for Speed video, so if you're watching this, welcome. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel because this channel is going to be full of Forza and Need for Speed Heat related content. Today's video is a pretty good one. I've been grinding Need for Speed Heat like hell, and in this video I'm showing you my final big rep stored night. On Need for Speed Heat where I gained over 1.3 million rep in one night getting me from level 42 to level 50. Very intense. Now the reason this is intense because if you don't know in Need for Speed Heat in the night when you gain your rep it doesn't save until you go to a safe house. So let's say I do five races and get like 300,000 rep. If I then get caught and busted by the police it will reset me back to what I was at the beginning of the night and the longer the night goes, the harder it gets, and I managed to somehow get 1.3 million. I managed to bank it pretty easily. So basically in today's video, I've recorded basically nearly all of the races, and I'm going to show you the highlights of that big night of getting up to 1.3 million rep. I'm going to show you all the police chases, how I escaped the police easily, the best places to escape the police, and just overall the odd tips and tricks if you're going to try and do a big night like this and try to get as much rep as possible. Um, mine, the most I could get was 1.3 million because I capped out at level 50. So yeah, this video is going to be the highlights of that night. All of the intense moments, all of the cop chases, most of the races being finished. And along the way I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and some information about how you can do the same for yourself. But all in the end, the ending is pretty satisfying because you get to see one and a half million rep being banked at once. So yeah, let's get right into it. So yeah, this is about halfway through. I'm currently heat level five already and I've only got 450,000 rep. Um, so I've still got nearly a million rep to go, all done on heat level five, absolutely loads of races. And I think I'm currently heat level 45 as well. Sorry, rep level 45. So I think this was quite an annoying moment here. I had a, I was going for this jump and this cop car was pushing me off and I ended up missing the jump. It spawned me before again. I missed the jump again and then I spawned underneath the ramp. But I lost about four places because of that little glitch there. But you know, it happens. This was one of the most annoying moments for the whole night because I lost so much damage on the uh, on the GTR that I had to use up one of my repairs. And you only get three repairs every night. So one of my first tips, if you're doing a long night like this, you're going to obviously be on heat level five. Try to do as many races down at the docks as you can because I found that the docks isn't the, it isn't the hardest place to lose cops from and there's lots of jumps as well and jumps are really good for losing cops so if you're doing a long night like this do it down here near the bottom of the map do as many races as you can because it's really good for, for losing the police so this was another funny moment this was a couple more races ahead i was up to 733,000 um, rep at the moment i'm just coming up to the end of the race and I didn't have any cops on me and obviously when you heat level 5 you don't want to get any cops on you. I was in first place and I noticed a cop car driving towards the finish line so I slowed down completely as you can see there's a cop in front of me on the map and I didn't want to speed up to him so I slowed down to like 50 miles an hour while I was being caught up on but unfortunately as you can see a cop to the right came in spotted me so then I just had to go to the finish but I really Another tip is try to avoid the cops where you can. Like if that cop didn't come from the right, I probably could have got over that finish line without being spotted by the police, which was obviously a bad thing. And then luckily here I had a lot of speed and I did manage to escape because they didn't have to, enough time to get the reinforcements to come, but yeah. So just before we get to so just before we get to the final race, a few tips and tricks that I can think of is you know do as many city races as you can and do as many docks races as you can as you can see here i'm doing a city race heat level five the choppers right above me there's cops absolutely everywhere but if you just if you try to forget about the cops and just try to focus on doing the race as fast as you can you'll naturally get away from the cops and as i said in the city there's quite a lot of jumps anyway so worst case if you do have the cops when you finish the race still you can go to one of those jumps and lose them straight away but I had three cops chasing me here and it was just, I just pretended to forget that they were even there. Here we go, in this racing question, that race just finished. I still had the police on me, that wasn't an issue. There was one of those overpowered jumps just around the corner. As you can see, there was only one police on me at this moment. But uh, this jump is so good, 
I mean, as you can see here, just going around the corner to it, there's police absolutely everywhere around me. As soon as I go over the jump, I lose them instantly. That guy, he breaks, doesn't want to follow me, go up the jump, and within a matter of seconds, I believe, it says escaping, I think it glitches for a second. Yeah, over the jump, and there you go, I'm escaping. The chopper can't see me anymore for some weird reason, and there you go. So yeah, use the jumps, especially at night. I think now we're coming up to the last race, which I actually turned on live commentary for. So yeah, if you were looking for the last race, here it is. Now ideally, the dream would be to finish this race with no coppers on me at all. But by the looks of it, this race ends right near a good jump to get rid of them anyway. Oh, the cops are going to spot them. Not me though, thankfully. Come on, all I need to do is finish this race. And then I'm rep level 50. And I've had over 1.3 million just this night. Which is pretty damn, pretty damn good. 50% through the last race, still no coppers on us. I'll be very surprised if that stays like that though. Do I go through the gas station? No, we're going to leave it. Or just repair me anyway. Awesome. And there you have it, guys. Level 42 to level 50 in one night. 1.3 million rep. How about that? Now let's go and have a look at these rewards. What a night that was. 1.3 million. Right. Oh, let's have a ganders. 40, 52 minutes that took me. So, barely got any credits, obviously. 261,000 times 5. 1.3 million. Bosh, level 50. Sweet! New cars unlocked. Let's have a look. The Koenigsegg Regera. That's more like it. That's what I like to see. So there we are boys, little video just showcasing well, one of my best nights so far, that was 1.3 million uh, rep, I presume you call it, I don't really know what the R stands for, in one night, which presumably means we have everything unlocked, yes we could uh, swap a 6.5 litre V12 into the GTR if we wanted to, but that would just be stupid. I suppose the only thing left to do is to unlock all of the high, high heat street race parts get the gtr up to a nice 700 800 hopefully the maximum thousand horsepower that'll be good so yeah that was it guys honestly it wasn't that hard to do i got quite quite lucky with the amount of police chases that i had i had a few of them but most of them i escaped rather easily yeah most of them i escaped rather easily so to put it short if you're going to try and do this you're going to try and go for a full level five heat chase night which gives you the most rep possible try to avoid the cops where you can do missions near the city and do missions down near the docks as well to gain access to the jumps if you do have them and another thing which i didn't mention try to focus more on having your car stay healthy instead of first place it, in the long run it's going to be much more to your benefit if you don't have to repair your car so much than it is just to get first place because if you get third place you'll still get a lot of rep. So try not to play too viciously, try to keep your car repairs because when you get a vicious cop chase, that can really take a toll on its car. And if you run out of repairs, that's it, you're busted and you lose all your work. This may have not really been worth posting, but for anyone who's kind of new to Need for Speed and you know hasn't really seen the game yet, this is quite a satisfying video to watch. 1.3 million is quite a lot of rep to get in one night. And so you can see if it's worth it and if it's easy. And honestly, it is worth it. It's not easy, but it's not hard. Just play it smart with the police. Try to obviously do all the races which give you the most rep, which you can check by hovering over all of the little icons on the map, and you'll be fine. I don't know exactly the amount of races I did. I think it was been about 10, 10 to 15, I think, different races, so quite a few, but it just took a lot of time. It took about an hour, I believe. So yeah, stay tuned for more Need for Speed Heat videos. There's one coming out tomorrow and hopefully the day after that and etc, etc. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.